top, back it up a little bit. Back it up a little bit. Okay. That gives them, gives them time to catch up with what you're doing. Okay. So right here is where they were yesterday, and you can see, you know, the manure that they've done. They've grazed it, they've eaten a lot of the grass, but they've dumped their manure. And then the, and then the shelter gets moved every morning to another spot then that's that's fresh. Hey birdies. That's fresh and new, no manure, um, fresh grass, fresh clover, what we call a fresh salad bar. And the birds then are able to um, to hit, stay ahead of their, you know, ahead of their manure, ahead of their excrement. They get they get their diapers cleaned every day, their linens clean, and uh, they get this fresh salad bar every single day. So it's a it's a very hygienic, sanitary way. And then of course the manure goes into the ground. And if you, you know, if you just pivot around, you can look right down here. You can count back one, two. Here's three days. Okay, three, four. Here's number. Here's five. The manure is already, you know, stimulating the grass growth, and you've got new growth in uh, confinement animal factory operations, CAFOs. Uh, these birds, of course, number one, they'd be in a great big, they'd be in a great big uh, uh, confinement house, you know, uh, 15,000 birds, a house that's the size of a, you know, a football field and a half. And of course, they would have to bring, they bring in um, uh, wood shavings for for some, a little bit of bedding, not much, just very little. And then you've got all this, uh, all this manure that builds up. And of course the chickens are in their own manure all the time, in their own excrement. They stay there their whole lives. That manure vaporizes, so they're breathing in um, you know, fecal particulate dust their whole lives, which makes abrasions in their uh, mucous membranes of their respiratory system. That's why the industry has to give them antibiotics to deal with the uh, with the abscesses and the, the lesions that are created in their mucous membranes from breathing in the fecal particulate uh, dust all the time. And of course then when you're done, eventually you have to go in and you have to clean out all that litter in the manure so there's a mechanical in with energy, a mechanical out with energy, and of course all the time the birds are in a very unhealthy environment. So, you know, um, Energy doesn't win, the farmer doesn't win, the birds don't win, the, the uh, eater doesn't win. You know, nobody wins in that system. You don't, have to be, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to just look at this and say, you know what, this is the way it ought to be. And one of the things I think it's important to understand here is, it's beautiful, you know, and good food production should be aesthetically and aromatically, sensually romantic. <laughs>